So a little over 16 months ago, I stepped into a new phase of life called fatherhood. Amongst the many, many perks of being a father, there comes a big limitation in my opinion just because it's something that's always been important to me. It's the lack of ability to head off on a random road trip with the wife minus a little one, or just a trip on my own. We started our day a little earlier than usual and made a stop about an hour and a half into the road trip for nothing else but fried chicken. As I am someone who finds it perfectly acceptable to have KFC for breakfast, the wife gets to be happy with her majestic oats. Film photography has been a relatively new founder for me, although my wallet keeps getting in the way of our relationship. It's kind of an art form that I resonate with and fills the void of the ever-growing emptiness in my bank account. It's a sign. It's a sign. And my soul. After a four-hour drive, we finally arrive at the destination, the main purpose of our road trip. Oh shit, I think they're closed. So we checked out the store's Instagram and realized that at 8.30 a.m., they decided to take a day off because Monday's generally a slow day, especially after a hectic weekend for them. With the wife in denial of the situation, gave them a call and told them about the many seas we traveled through to get here and they graciously agreed to come over and open the place up for us. And jokes aside, this place is beautiful and definitely worth the trip. And finally, the real excuse we used to make the trip down here. I submitted a photo I took in Desaru on Ekta 100 back in February for this exhibition. It's a shot of star trails on the east coast horizon with the shadow open from 10pm to 12am in total darkness. At least that's what I thought it would be, but I think the shadow closed at about 45 minutes, which would explain why the image looks so underexposed. Determined not to spend the rest of our day and our night in Batu Pahat, we headed back north to Malacca, a tiny old city I used to call home. And because this is not home anymore, we had to find a place to stay. And then I found this cozy Airbnb with a hot tub in the balcony so she could take a bath in the balcony, as she's always wanted. The feeling of looking for a place to stay that doesn't have to be child friendly and fit an entire village simultaneously seemed pretty foreign after about a year and a half of having the kid along on every trip. Now of course I love the little one but I think parents can relate that it's nice to have reminders of what our carefree lives were like before this bundle of joy came in. Speaking of said bundle of joy, here he is invading our privacy during dinner. No wonder Got it. How, what time he sleep? How long he sleep? That's the beauty that is the Malaysian pink cloud sunset. After the sun went down, I set up two tripods to take more star trails. Light pollution's a bit of an issue, but anywhere's better than Big Bright Kale with its skyscrapers and billboards and skyscrapers used as billboards. Oh, what do you know? It's daytime now. Which means it's time to say goodbye to the balcony bathtub apartment. As we close this door, we close the chapter and turn a new page on our ever going- Yo, what the hell, man? Move! What the hell was that? Right. Gotta get back today. Now this might seem like less than ideal travel conditions, but I like to think that we're just dealing with some rain. We could have worse things happen like floods, which would probably be the case if we had this kind of rainy gale. Despite the rain, I wanted to get a couple of shots at these pretty buildings in good old Yonker Street, and this is me now running after the wife that has left me for what I wish I could say is the first time. I'm kidding of course. Or am I? Even I'm not sure. And here, she tries to force me out of the shade. As my shoes have now become bowls of water for my feet to feel like it's completely submerged in a fish tank, we went to my favorite touristy restaurant that actually serves decent food. Chicken rice ball could learn a thing or two from them, you know? At last, the rain stopped and we made our way back to the car and drove two and a half hours back to reality with our hearts full and our feet soaking wet. So to tie this off with some thoughts, wrapped in a blanket of words I'm struggling to come up with, what I've learned and hope to pass on to you is to appreciate the smallest victories in life, whether it be having your work in a tiny exhibition, in a tiny film photography store, in a small town somewhere across the country, or just waking up every morning and playing your role as yourself being the main character in your life, or in my case hopefully, 
A good supporting cast in someone else's life. And definitely bring an extra pair of socks in case it rains.